Very good evening my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So thankfully uh, we have finished another good day this week. As I told you the comeback is great thankfully and Euro NZD has reached the take profit numbers too aiming 60 pips of profit but sadly we had AUD CAD closed with 30 pips of loss and pound USD. I want to talk about the pound USD because what happened was really really annoying for me and Angela. <laughs> By the way NZD CHF has closed with 20 pips as well. Now about the pound USD. Um, the pound USD was actually going in loss in the beginning when we have sent the signal and sadly some members kept sending to Angela telling her Angela please close the trade, close the trade, close the trade we don't want to lose more please close the trade they kept saying that to her actually more than four members they kept telling her and Angela got in the end confused and she lost her confidence and announced to close the trade in loss however as i told you we in extreme trader we know exactly what we are doing and we knew from our analysis that the pound usd was actually gonna fly up this is the signal that, that we have sent for the pound usd to buy at 1.3164 and if we check it 3164 it's almost here so we can see that if we lift the trade running, it could be ha it could have been right now in 71 pips of profit instead of the break even. So I'm telling everyone in the premium group, please guys, don't interfere with Angela's signals. Don't tell her what to do. She's expert and she knows exactly what she's doing. So overall, um, the signals are still doing very well, and we have thankfully received a lot of good feedbacks and members thanking us for the good performance uh, so in the end if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so going right now to the midweek analysis and the first thing we can notice here is the weakness of the us dollar it just keeps going on and i think even on the gold uh, the investors right now they don't feel safe with the us dollar anymore and they are back to the gold that's why the gold is right now rising so uh, actually my signal hasn't been uh, reached from the last uh, weekly analysis video however what we can notice right here right now on the daily candles for the euro usd is that the breakout has happened on the daily candles and the market most likely right now is about to retest the broken resistance right here and it's gonna continue the rise uh, that's why actually I had to make the video right now because the mar th this candle is gonna close I think in just two minutes yes my friends right now it's almost 1 a.m. Dubai time therefore what we need to do actually right now is go to the weekly candles so we can tell where is the resistance where the market is actually gonna continue the rise and reverse at and in my opinion this is the, res the strong key resistance level right here on 1.20484 that's gonna be our next take profit level the US dollar the euro USD is gonna continue the rise until it hit that level and I'm certainly sure that this resistance right here is gonna be retested and the growth of the uh, euro USD is gonna re remain going it's gonna continue going I don't actually see the uh, pair is uh, gonna fall to that previous resistance I don't think so, that however I'm just gonna give this signal right here just to be safe because actually there is a potential um, fall below that resistance we need to give a space for the candle um, sometimes the market and for um, to gain some liquidity is gonna continue falling until it just reach a certain point and then it's gonna it's, and then it's gonna continue the rise therefore uh, the signal is going to be given exactly at that resistance however the safe zone is going to be given until the uh, top of that resistance right here I see there is no way that the market is actually going to fall below the safe zone that being said let's just send the signal for the buy at 1.19041 and this is the safe zone my friends exactly like that as you can see fantastic okay okay and for the take profit level as I said it's gonna be given uh, at the top of the resistance right here at the level of take profit on 1.20484 uh, hopefully it is gonna work out very well and we will have a good profits this week let's move right now to the pound USD 
uh, for the pound USD and also because of the weakness of the US dollar uh, we can notice the breakout has happened from the resistance uh, on 1.31653 uh, the resistance did not hold that uh, much however we can see that the pair is also facing another strong resistance at 1.32805 uh, I think the pair is gonna reverse right on that resistance so it's gonna keep going up a little bit more like that and then it's gonna fall down retest the broken resistance before it's gonna continue the rise and reach the strong key resistance level on 1.35750 now what we can do actually let's go the, remember we are on the weekly candle here let's go to the four hour candle right now uh, that is exactly where I'm expecting the pair to reverse right here is gonna fall for another 51 pips before actually it's continued the rise let me just be sure let me just be sure exactly right here let me just yes that is actually much better so it's gonna fall for another yeah 37 pips and uh, let me just change the take the the safe zone it's gonna be almost for 52 pips so therefore a uh, pound usd is good for the buy at 1.31972 and let me just draw for you the safe zone i feel like this part nobody watching everyone is just skipping the video to the important section where i'm just writing the numbers i'm certainly sure most of you guys doing that i don't know why <laughs> oh, it's okay let me just write for you um, the target is gonna be right here exactly so we are aiming almost 100 pips or 98 pips from the buy of the uh i cannot keep talking while typing like this. take profit level for the pound usd is 1.32849 it's exactly at the top of the resistance so hopefully this signal is gonna work very well also now let's move to the pound usd by the way look at the look at the, look at the spread uh, it happened like that because right now we have entered uh after 1 a.m midnight and the market right now is off and that's why uh, these spreads are high like that because now the market is actually in in a, in a condition that you cannot really trade it at all and of course actually all the brokers they do that uh, it's, it's gonna remain like that for um, almost two or three hours I think uh, about 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. my time is gonna be uh, good again and the spread is gonna be back to the normal condition anyway uh, let's go back to the weekly candles so we can see for the AUD USD what's happening now for the AUD USD uh, It's facing a strong resistance right here But again, we cannot forget the weakness of the US dollar. Therefore we got we are gonna actually rely on it and We are gonna send the signal for the buy again for the AUD USD Exactly right here this is where we are going to start buying the AUD USD uh, 7 point, uh, sorry, 0 0.72090 and let's go to the daily candles again and see our target is gonna be right on that resistance level right here exactly my eyes actually was looking here that is the key resistance level where I'm aiming and we can expect from this trade almost exactly 100 pips of profit let's go back to the four hour chart so we can draw our safe zone i think it cannot really exceed that previous support right here so we are talking about 51 pips actually let's increase it a little bit more yeah like that just be more realistic and confident about my signal because i strongly believe is gonna work very well and did i write the take profit number not yet okay for the take profit level is gonna be on 0 0.731 double th double three sorry double three double three all right so hopefully it's gonna also work very well and we will make good profits out of it let's move to the usd cad uh usd cad is falling as well uh i don't know what is this why it's happening here let me get rid of it okay so the usd cad is still falling and by looking at the daily candles what we can notice right here is there was the the, the breakout from the support level exactly right here 
uh, keep in mind also that we had also another attempt of the support right here or uh, almost on the same level and we can see that also that level was strong as a resistance so what we are expecting right now from the USD CAD by looking at the daily candles that this candle right now is reversing already and it's gonna continue a little bit more rise just to hit the previous support level before it is gonna continue the fall just trying to make it short as much as possible my friends to not waste your time so I'm gonna send the signal for sh uh, short or sell for the USD CAD on 1.31922 and what we can expect actually let me just go to the daily candles again or actually zoom out and our target my friends actually is gonna be exactly that previous resistance right here and I strongly believe it's gonna continue the fall even more to hit the strong key support level on 1.30560 it's definitely gonna hit that level definitely however I cannot just give the signal for that I think Okay, it's only 89 pips. Uh, I'm certainly sure, yes, it's gonna reach that level eventually, even by next week maybe, but however, that's gonna be the signal. And let me just move to the daily, ca uh, sorry, to the four hour chart, so I can decide my uh, tech prof my, uh, my safe zone. Uh, by the way, we can see that the pair on the four hour chart has already reached our cell area. Still, we need to wait for the second attempt on the resistance. However, uh, it's only 20 pips for those who just want to enter the trade right away. However, I just cannot really give the signal like that. I have to be uh, more careful about uh, my decisions. Therefore, I'm gonna actually give the signal for the sell exactly right here. And I'm gonna increase the safe zone like that. What I meant is I don't really like to give the signal to sell right away. Uh, better be safe than sorry. Uh, sometimes the market might actually trick you. It might go up. And if you entered late or if you if you place your sell order at the absolute lowest, lowest level of the support, then the pair might actually reverse. You will lose almost 40 pips for no reason. I always prefer to wait for the right moment to start shorting or buying. So that's our sell area and the take profit level is gonna be 1.30533 just like that and hopefully also it will work very well now let's move to the USDGPY actually USDGPY was the only signal that has been triggered and activated from my last weekly analysis video we can see right here the candle has actually reached the level of the cell on 106.659 and the candle has went so far in or total of total of 1000 oh, sorry 136 pips of profit i really hope everyone have uh, actually joined this signal and enter entertained these numbers of profits so now what's the next move now what's the next move right now is actually the pair is going to continue the fall again i'm telling you because of the weakness of the us dollar uh, we are facing a strong key support level on 105 uh, point uh, 410 therefore we can expect from the pair to actually reverse right here and retest the broken support level here on 105.755 before it actually gonna continue the fall even more to hit the absolute absolute uh, lowest levels of the support on 104.260 so the signal for the uh, USD GPY is gonna be given for the short or sell right here on 105.664 and the take profit level is gonna be given as well exactly right here just to be safe my friends and let me see how many pips yes 88 pips uh, it's exactly right here on that previous support level and I think that's even more convenient than giving it to the absolute uh, lowest level of the support and for the safe zone it's gonna be ranging until I think here is okay no, 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 we can increase it, uh, just to be safe, yes, just like that, exactly, yep, so that's gonna be our uh, safe zone for the short, and for the buy, uh, sorry, for the tech profit level, it's gonna be on 104.774, again, hopefully it's gonna be working very well for everyone. 
USDCHF has just kept going down and it did not really trigger uh, on my sell area however it just kept falling down in the right direction uh, for almost 88 pips and already hit the take profit level so again very similar to the other uh, analysis uh, of the other pairs we can expect from the pair to actually continue the rise a little bit more to hit the previous support level right here on 0 0.90510 that being said, of course, we are going to sell the USDCHF on that level, 0 0.90510. And the safe zone is going to be ranging exactly until that level of the resistance. Let me just draw for you the safe zone, my friends. Now, for the tech profit level, it's actually a little bit hard because the pair... Oh, my God! <laughs> I really hate seeing, the, seeing that. I hate it. Okay. Uh, we can actually... I'm just actually looking right here. My eyes looking right here. On that previous support level, which was also a strong resistance. And it was also a support right here. And a support right here. Fantastic. Okay. So that's convenient. And we can expect almost... Uh, 110 or 100 pips out of this trade so that's gonna be our take profit level take profit level is let me just be sure it's the right one uh, 0 0.89426 exactly like that go back to the daily candles all right so I think I lost it but however I hope you guys have uh, wrote it down you can just um, rewind the video you can just uh, see it this is the take profit level uh, sorry I cannot uh, make it any more clear now let's to the gold let's move to the gold this is actually more important uh, the gold as you can see has has gained more strength and right now is heading all the way up again I told you the gold is moving in a random movement really I mean there is no I don't see any fundamentals to based on I mean the gold was expected to be to retest the broken resistance right here but it instead it just reversed on that previous support on 1860 however it just continued the reversal and it's moving up all the way and and right now i'm certainly sure 100 percent sure it's gonna again hit 2075 the highest ever that the pair has reached oh sorry to uh, yeah yeah exactly to 2075 so what, what, what are we going to do right now with the gold? Uh, the gold, sadly, we, ha we have missed the perfect entry. If I was about to give the entry, it was actually on that previous resistance level. And we can see already we have here a pin bar. It's indicating that the potential of uh, continuation in the, in the bullish reversal. However, we need to be careful and we need to be more wise about our entry therefore of course i cannot give you the signal to buy immediately we have to wait for the pair to make one more attempt on that resistance oh, sorry on that support on 1987 and then it's going to continue the rise so just to make it short gold is for the buy on 1987.65 and then we can keep the trade running until it hit the highest the highest ever that bear has reached however i'm gonna just make it on take profit on 2070. that's gonna be our take profit level for the gold and for the safe zone uh, the safe zone is gonna be ranging inside until hitting that previous resistance right here it's gonna be oh my god that's the problem with the gold I mean it's it has really a lot of pips however um, as of as of technical view this is the safe zone but however it's it's a it's a crime it's a crime to give a safe zone of uh, 100 pip, uh, 200 pips how about here Look, uh, I switch by the way to the one hour chart I really hope everything will be okay okay 100 pips what can I do uh, it is what it is and please everyone please be extra careful and be very wise when you are trading the gold it's really really uh, hard uh, these times to trade I know it's appealing and I personally have made uh, a lot of money this week and I think yeah I think I have uh, shown you in the live trading video 
I have made uh, I think 90 or 80 dollars from one single trade in less than three minutes I have made a good profit in the gold but actually I have to admit that I also was lucky because uh, there was a chance that the pair might go against me and the losses is gonna be really big if the pair has went against me so I have to admit to everyone I was somehow lucky in that trade that the profit came very fast so uh, take profit level uh, is on 2070 for the gold and hopefully really it's gonna work very well and again I'm telling everyone that I don't take any responsibility for these signals they are just for your guidance and advice uh, for entering the trades and I don't take any responsibility for any losses uh, happens uh, it's you have to, to manage your own risk and you have to be aware about the risks of trading forex and trading uh, commodity so in the end I really hope it's gonna be very profitable and good week for everyone and in the end also I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching